Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about posing. So if you have to pose a group of photo, a group of people in a photograph, I like to do things other than lining them up. And I thought I would share that with you because if sometimes you want to shoot your family members, there's a little family reunion, there's some friends who are getting together. Typically when people get together for any kind of a group photo, they just line up in lines of people. And they stand in front of each other and they kind of block each other. And if you can get up a little bit higher by using like an apple box or a small step ladder or tree stump, whatever it takes to get a little bit higher, and you can shoot down on the group, what I like to do is instead of shooting people all in a line in front and everybody's kind of blocking each other up, I try to make little groups of three and little groups of two. So if you put three people, one here, one behind, and one here, and then you put another group a little bit further up, maybe just two people, and then you put another group back here with three people or maybe four across, and you make like little patterns. I find that that's like a, a more interesting way to pose people than again, just all standing in line. It feels like the line is the way, you know, people would do military shots back in the 40s and 50s. And we're not shooting that, we're shooting personalities and triangles are more interesting than straight lines across and if you get above them you can often get to see the person in the back easier than if you're standing at eye level so and most people like the look of being photographed from above because most people have a better chin line when you're shooting from above than when you're shooting from below and like right now this camera is shooting from above so I probably have a little bit of a stronger chin than if you shot from here but posing people into little sections, and I'll put an example in the photo uh, links below because I have a good example I can think of that I did for a musical group that had a lot of members. And that's the kind of thing where, you know, if you start thinking in that way, the first thing they'll automatically do is they'll go stand in line and you can say, let's, let's not just stand in line. And I would always joke at the newspaper where I worked, it was always like whenever you'd go into an office and you'd want to photograph a group of people, they'd always say, where do we stand by the plant? And I'm like, we don't have to get the plant in every photograph. It's not about the plant, it's about you guys. And again, little groups of three here, two here, three here, or four here, two here. Just break them up into smaller groups and compose them and move them and keep moving them until you like the way they all kind of work together. It kind of feels like the way when Annie Leibovitz does a Vanity Fair cover where it opens up and there's celebrities and they're all like mixed around in different settings in one room. They're never in line. They're always like in little groups and little patterns and, and I enjoy that. I think that that's a, a much stronger way to shoot your group shots. So give that a try if you've done that before. Put some comments below and show us some. And if you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. We'll talk again photography tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching.